This one's quite sad. This song. It just has that sad piano. Sorry, now the look at Gut Rippers. Let's talk about Gut Rippers. Thanks to my patrons, Pandas Prowl and the rest. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm too tired to read them. <laughs> Sorry. Art by Wybarian. I'm not too tired to read his name. And Baron of Dice for supporting the channel. Buy some dice. This is a blank screen. Because we're going to talk about the new Gut Rippers. Okay, so let's just review what they actually do. Um, five up safe, same as before. Five up move or five inch move, same as before. Two health and one control. So no longer do they have bad bravery. Let's just talk about my thesis statement here. My thesis statement is that Gut Rippers are actually significantly better than they were in a world where everything else is being tuned down. I think it's fair-ish to say that we all generally agree that the game is being reduced in its power. So let's talk about how God Rippers are actually significantly better. So the first way is that we don't have bravery anymore, we just have control. God Rippers used to run away and we had some bad all part of the plan style abilities that were in place to help us deal with that problem but it was still a very frustrating, annoying problem. Getting hit by Comet's Call and Seraphon was a nightmare for orcs. So that nightmare is gone. I think destruction is gonna sort of get slightly better just because there's no more bravery. I think it'll be one of those hidden things that um, comes out later. Like people will, opponents will play you and say, oh yeah, like I remember I used to do this and it used to work against you, but now that strategy doesn't work against you anymore, right? So, that's one way that Gut Rippers got better. If we look at their attack profile, Stickers and Hackers, they got one more better wound profile. Fours and three. That is a buff when lots of other units are getting nerfs. So, that feels good. Fours and threes, sure. We have seen that the Nash Tooth can put them on threes and threes. And, uh, so that feels good. And... Not that we care all that much. With zero rend, it's still it's still kind of irrelevant. I mean, like, I'm sort of making it sound like this plus one to wound matters a lot, but it doesn't really, like, it. it's not really going to make a big difference, but it's more just the spirit of it. You know, like, it is actually better. So maybe there'll be some way that we can get some rend. Who knows? We'll have to see. Reducing your opponent's save, that might be another thing that we could do. And they have that crit mortal ability. So their scare tactic is worse than it was before. Like it is worse than it was before. Before it was non-hero, non-monster, but you just got it every single time. You didn't have to roll for it. You just, they just got minus one to hit against them. Now you have on a three up, they get minus one to hit. So, the, but, and you can do it against monsters, but like fine, you know, I think, so I think that this is worse than it was before. You now have to roll for it. So there's a 33% chance that you don't get it. Um, but you do, you will get it sometimes against monsters, but probably less overall. So, you know, I'd say it's lateral down, kind of, right? Like, it's sort of worse than it, than it was before. Um, but, but, the Gut Rippers are going to be the primary recipient of oh, Noisy Racket. Noisy Racket is the strike last dirty trick. Check out my video that I just posted on dirty tricks. The, um, and Strike Last is going to be incredibly powerful for Gut Rippers, I believe. Th so your opponent charges into you, and you get some combination, because all three of these abilities rely on die rolls that are probably going to be in the three up or four up range, but you're going to roll for Lethal Surprise, maybe, for Noisy Racket, probably, and then uh, Scare Tactics. You're going to get to do that. And scare tactics can happen on multiple gut rip units. So if you're, if something's happening in multiple places. Um, yeah. So all three of those abilities, I think, are better than what it was before. Than just minus one to hit. Because that's what it was. And noisy racket was minus one to wound in the first battle round. Not super great. So now it's either strike last... Uh, D3 Mortal Wounds, and, I mean, D3 Mortal Wounds is good, 
and uh, minus one to, to hit, it's going to be some combination of those. And that's really strong. So they got plus one to wound, and then what they're actually doing in the fight suddenly just got a lot better. You know, the, the way that they're going to play is not just this war scroll, but it's also the way the Dirty Tricks inter interacts with the, interact with this war scroll. So, uh, yeah, big glow up, I think, for Garbipus. In, in context, right? In context of what the rest of the rules look like. Like, way to go, Garbipus. Good job. I'm a big... I like it. So, you should like it. And subscribe. And of course, wah.